So, full auto real quick. Hello people. So, I unboxed something amazing yesterday from Gorilla FCU. And um, first I want to say, real quick, quick disclaimer of this video. This video is sponsored by speedtag.com. Speedtag.com. Yeah? Now that this is out of the way, I will tell you real quick. I contacted Gorilla FCU slash Triggerboard because I have this beautiful MTW. And I wanted to upgrade it, just because why not, it would be fun to have some more settings and some more stuff to play around with. The M2 doesn't really need it, but if you want the, the best and the coolest and some nice presets and... You know, a lot of fun shit stuff I will show you guys later. Then this is the way to go. What you get in the package is... You get... FCU. The Gorilla SU. You go, you get a trigger board, the Gorilla trigger board, to the MCW, and you get a patch. We all know the patch is the most important part, and very nice quality patch, <laughs> best kind of quality. So now I'm gonna take my MCW part. Well, you can see it's already kind of part, but I need to take out the trigger board. I will take out the trigger board real quick. You will get a nice, uh, speedy looking ass, uh, cool, sexy video of it. Me taking it apart. But um, first off, thank you for sending me this FCU slash trigger board. I'm sure my MTW is going to be even more blast with the secret things, the secret sources. Let me show you. I'm not going to say what this is yet. Oh, did you see? Right here. But. But my MCW has some secret sauce inside and I'm gonna show you guys the app real quick soon with the Gorilla stuff. So yeah, let's take the gun apart. I'm gonna put on the music for me and some music for you guys probably. So yeah, let's see how we do this. This thing is kind of hard to get inside. I know you want is ready. The whole last time we are prepared. Oh, this time we'll take them down with our bare hands. The enemies will notice. I will never. So now we finally have in the freaking trigger board. That took me um, quite a while because I'm not a tech, so yes. Now we're gonna put this in. This is a, the important part. This is the FCU. This is the magic stuff, look at this. Oof. This is what's gonna make my MTW way better than everyone else's MTW on the field. You're gonna be like, how? Well, 
Howdy. You will know later. I will show you. See how this works? It's like this. It's like this. It's a click. Click here. Click here. Two clicks. There you go. So now we have an FCU in MTW. The, it normally doesn't have an FCU. I think everything is normally built into the trigger board. Everything is normally built into the trigger board. But now it's going to be built into this the FCU. We're going to put in a Titan battery because I am a big fan of Titan. Very nice. So let's uh, put in a Titan battery here real quick. Now we're going to make some room. In the stock tube, buffer tube. Heck. Very. A lot of. If I take this in first. Let that fill out. Let's see, how do we? Let's see here, I actually don't know. How are we gonna do this properly? Uh, one second, we will speed up. I will find out probably how to do it. So we just squeeze in the FCU, we squeeze it in way longer in the buffer tube. And now we put in the battery. Battery. Squeeze in a little bit. There we go. Everything is in the gun now. Let's see here now with the top. The upper. So we have secret source inside of this, and we're gonna have secret source inside of the upper now too. So this MTW is gonna be quite insane. Well, it already is. Like disclaimer, real quick, the MTW doesn't really need this upgrade, but um, if you can get it, why not get it? Like all the softers, all the softers are always looking for something new. Something good, something they don't need. But, you know, if it's an upgrade, I think we can all agree that we need it. Hello, YouTube. So, it's been quite a few days since I started doing this update to my gun. I didn't have the right tools, which was kind of hard to get. You need a one and a half Braco, that's what it's called, I think. Um, I didn't have that the right way. I had like a bold end, like, you know, like this, the bold end. Don't really need it. You need a straight end, like a straight end, all that stuff. So, to installing the FCU and trigger board. So, I'm not a tech. I've never done tech work in my entire life. The only thing I've ever done tech work on is this MTW. Taking out the, the HPA motor and everything. It's piss easy because it's MTW, it's a closed system. It's very easy to fix. But I had to remove a trigger board, which I was very afraid of because, you know, the old trigger board is right here. Never done something like that before and Gorilla was so nice that they wanted to send me and SpeedTag, you know, it's through SpeedTag. SpeedTag wanted to send me this amazing trigger board and FCU. Well, I don't know if it was amazing when I ordered it, that's why I wanted to, to get it. I had a few people ask me. Do you know about this trigger board FCU? I'm like, no, not really. I'm like, I read, I will read about it now. We'll find out if it's something I'm interested in. So I read about it. It seemed really cool because Bluetooth on my phone, I can control my, my gun. I can control everything I would ever want. I have binary. I have all the cool shit, like all the cool shit that maybe a polar star has. So I'm like, fuck it. I want it for my MTW. So I got it. 
and uh, I had to install it. The install process for me, without any tech experience, was very difficult. Like very difficult. You had, you only had to unscrew like two or three screws actually, three or four screws. But it was very finicky. You had to be very careful. You don't break anything with wires and everything. So when you finally managed to get out the trigger board, you know there's a lot of videos for how to install it. I'm not gonna. That's not my video, that's not what it's about. When you get it out, there's, there's a little thing here with two springs you need to get out. You need to take it from the old trigger board, like this. This is the old trigger board and the FCU by Wolverine. I guess it's both. I don't know, but I guess it's both. So you need to take that off, the little thing that's, that was on this, right here. I need to take that off, and when you take it off, you need to screw it on your new trigger board, um, which is quite easy. Um, then you manage to get in the trigger board and everything. And then you need to put in the FCU. The FCU is going to mean the stock, just like a polar star. Like in the stock. Right here. That's where you're going to put your FCU. And now you're ready to go. So I couldn't get my trigger board or FCU to work at all. Sometimes it could fire, sometimes it didn't. Um, there's two screws inside. I will show you here, guys here real quick, really quick. You see, I will show you the two springs. You need to take, look here, you take the two springs and put on the new uh, trigger board. And then the two springs to, for the gun to be able to fire, you need, they need to be able to attach up here. And I think the way the Gorilla SU trigger board, the trigger board here is made, it, it, it has less tolerance, so it's a little bit more finicky. So you need to make them reach these up here. I unscrewed them a little bit and fixed this a little bit. Then the connection was fine and the gun worked absolutely perfect. Um, but before that, I couldn't shoot with the gun at all. And I was actually kind of depressed so, because I was like, okay, Gorilla sent me this cool stuff and I don't know how to fix it and I know how to do it and it's kind of embarrassing. But you know, we all live and learn. And that's what my channel is about, le learning new stuff and getting better. And as I say in every single video, I'm not a tech. Disclaimer, I'm not a fucking tech, okay? So, I managed to get it in, and now we have this amazing app. Gorilla has an app. Um, I have to be honest, the app is very finicky too. And when I mean finicky, it's very... It's Sometimes it connects to the FCU, sometimes it don't. Sometimes you need to hold the phone in the right place. It could be because of my stock and buffer tube and everything, because it's too thick. I have no idea. When the FCU was outside of the gun, it connects instantly. So I would assume it's because it's inside here. But then, so let's see, I will connect real quick to my, to my thing. This is the Gorilla, Gorilla thing. So you can uh, connect. You uh, connect up here. I will connect to the FCU. It should scan. Let's see if it finds it now. Otherwise, that'd be kind of awkward. Let's see here. It found my FCU up here. Boom, click. Boom, boom, boom. You're like, okay, okay, nice. You click read. Please connect before. Oh, did I miss it? You see, this is what I mean. It can be a little bit finicky. FCU, click. Connecting. There we go. I was too fast before. Gorilla FCU, it has my preset and everything. Then we click read. Now it has all my settings here. It has, I actually don't know what any of these means almost, but you guys can find out when you get it. But here's the thing, I managed to find Puppet, Puppet Dwell 250 and Delay 15. That's how fast I want to use my semi. Then I have Puppet Dwell 200, 224 and Puppet Delay at seven. That gives me 34 rough. These settings it doesn't necessarily mean for you because I'm running my gun at one at like different um, joules. And right now I think my I think my gun is running at 1.8, 1.9 joule. So it might not be the same for you. But now we have some cool shit here. Oh, dual trigger. Ooh, ramp. Inverted fire mode. So you can change your auto and semi if you want to. Why not? You can turn them and lock it. Tournament. So if you go to, so if you go to a tournament, you could be like, oh, I want to lock it, so you know people can have different kind of, like, so they don't change the settings. Let's say I go to a tournament, I'm like, okay, 
let's say I go to a tournament and they have a certain amount of rules. Your gun is allowed to shoot this, you no, no binary trigger, no anything. They'll lock it for like five hours and then it's unlocked after. Then you can do whatever you want to your gun again. That is really freaking cool. A tournament lock on the FCU and not on the, the air, what do you call the air tank itself? Like the, yes, the regulator. So that's a difference. That's an even better thing. Because there's always these people say, oh, all HPA users are cheating, blah, blah, blah. Of course they're not. There's bad apples in everything. In AG users, GBB users, um, HPA users, and especially Milsimus. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> um, so yeah. Let's see how it sounds real quick. Let's uh, connect the Guan. So, full auto real quick. Hmm. Nice. It smells expensive. It smells like BBs flying left and right. No binary. Hmm. Let's see how fast can we fit with this trigger. You know, we all know that the MTW is not really for speed softers because you can't really have like a like crazy trigger stuff on it, but now you can. Hmm. You like? Ha! <laughs> take your hits. They definitely will take your hits. So yeah, this is what I think about the FCU. I like the app. The app is cool. I feel like the app needs to, hmm, what does it need? Does it, does it need changes? It doesn't always connect properly for me. I don't know why. I guess maybe that's just how it is. As I said with a buffer too, it could be user error. Probably is user error. The installation was kind of finicky, but I mean, that is airsoft taking. There's only one bad thing I could find about this whole thing. And that is that I didn't know about the springs, like connecting to the other, to the, um, Solenoid, I guess you could, I, I think it's the solenoid. I don't know. Please don't hate me for this. But like the connecting, like the, the springs connecting to the screws on top, that took me like a long freaking two days. Like I didn't know. I couldn't get it to work, honestly. I couldn't. I was like, heck, what, what is going on? But yeah. So um, overall, really freaking cool FCU and trigger board. I love it. The more settings for me, the better. Not always better. But um, most of the times it's pretty freaking sick. So, Gorilla FCU, kind of cool. Oh, you can see me with, without my hat now. Oh, no. Gorilla, Airsoft, kind of cool. Thank you for sending me speed tech slash Gorilla Airsoft speed, speed tech. Thank you for sending me. I will link to them in the description. Then you can upgrade your MTW, your Polar Star, your whatever the heck you have out there. They have upgrades for everything. This is gonna be the new shit, I'm pretty sure. Tournament locks and all these cool stuff. That's what we want in our guns in the future to improve safety, improve regulations. Because all over the Europe we have different kind of rules and this is a thing that, that works for everything. So, freaking sick. Anyways, 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 thank you for watching my video. I'm glad you watched it. I know it's a long video, it's a long freaking rant. But you always know, my videos are really fucking long, especially the reviews. So, um, if you enjoy this and want to help me and enable me in the future to do cool reviews like this, getting cool shit sent like this, because it's really, it's kind of expensive. Oh yeah, the price is 134 euros. Um, if you want me to be able to send this cool shit in the future, like, leave comments, share the video to your granddad, your mom, I don't give a, give a heck who it is, to your cats. Just to get this out there because that's the way I will help you guys to review cool stuff and cool things that you could get benefit from and you don't have to spend your own money maybe buying something that, that's not good. So, but this is a good thing. A plus and then like, subscribe and leave a comment and uh, you've heard about these. <laughs>